Can you believe that this short film was made in just a few minutes? Yes, now with the help of AI, you can create this kind of video in just a few clicks. In today's video, I am going to share the step-by-step -step method of creating the video. So, without further ado, let's dive in. This is David and you are watching AI Lockup. To create the video, I will use an AI-powered storytelling app called Catalyst AI. With this tool, you can create visual stories with consistent characters and scenes using Storyboard AI. I will put the link in the description. Just head over there. After coming to the Catalyst AI homepage, create an account. Once you are successfully logged in, your interface will be like this. Here you can notice some of my previous projects. Now to create a new project, you will find three options here. First, import your script. If you already have a script then you can upload it directly on here. You can import your FDX, Word, CSV, or text file. Next, you can generate a script with Catalyst AI and you can start from scratch. This time, let's generate a script with Catalyst. Here we have to enter our basic idea. For example, I am typing, two friends are trying to save the town from a rogue monster robot in a futuristic dystopian city. After entering the basic idea, click here to generate the storyboard. You can see that it generates some scene descriptions for us. Now you can edit them. There is one point to be noted, there is no story here only the scene description. So, first, we have to generate a story. To generate the story, I will use ChatGPT. After coming to ChatGPT, I am typing write a short story on this idea. Then paste the story idea and hit the enter button. And here it is, ChatGPT generates an engaging story, now copy the story and paste it into the Catalyst script idea box, and then click here. Once the scene decision is ready, review them and if needed customize them. Ok, our story and scene description is ready. Now we have to customize our project. First the project name. Here you can notice that Catalyst already suggests a title for our project. You can change it if you want. Next, set the aspect ratio. Here you will choose between 16 by 1x1 1 and 916. Next, the art style. Here you can generate content in various art styles like sketch, cinematic, oil painting, comic book, cartoon, pixel art, and many more. Choose your desired one. I will go with cinematic. After everything is set, hit the generate button. As you can see, Catalyst created the scenes and started generating the images and our images are ready. The images are good but, I think some of them need to be improved. For example, we can see our first scene showing two characters, but according to our story, the first scene is a futuristic city. So, to edit the scene, click on the edit button from here. This is the scene customization panel. On the left side, you will find the prompt and other settings. After the main script, you will find the camera angles. Here you can notice various camera angles like shot from above, shot from below, straight on shot, and eye level shot. Next, the shot range. Here you will find various shot levels. Select your desired one. Next, the action. It means what do you want to see. You have to enter the action prompt in this box. You can notice two character names here. They are basically these characters. In this scene, we don't need any characters. So, I am deleting all the prompts with the character name. After that, in the character option, you will find the negative prompt option. And in the end, the location. These locations are created by Catalyst AI from our script. We need to create a new location for the city. So, I am selecting add new. First of all, enter the location name. After that, enter the location description or prompt. Always try to enter a detailed prompt to get the best result. After entering the prompt, click on the Create button. OK, now to create the new images, click on the Generate button. And here it is, for new images are generated. You can play around the camera angle and shot range to find the best one. After generating it several times, I found this one. Once you found the best one, click on this tick mark to assign the image to your storyboard. Once you are done, click on the storyboard to go back to the storyboard. I think my second scene also needs to be customized. According to the script, these two characters should be working on a holographic map. But they just holding hands. So, we have to customize it. After coming to the scene editor page, set the camera angle and shot range and then come to the action prompt. 
I think the prompt is perfect. Let's see the character. Here you can notice character images. You can add new characters also. Click on this plus icon and you will find a vast number of pre-built characters. To create a new character, come to the My Character tab and then click on the Add New Character button. Now you have to upload your character image and then write a description about your character. This time, I will skip it. Alright, now how can I fix the scene? We can do this with Pose Customization. Click on the Character Posing tool from here. Now you can see there are posing options for both characters. We have to set the character pose. Set the position according to your needs. I am sitting as they are working on a table. After completing the first one, come to the second one and set the body pose. After doing that, hit the generate button. And here it is, Catalyst generates four new images for us. Now it's far better than the previous one. I will do some more customization on the pose to get a better result. You should also play around to get the best result. After trying a few times I got the perfect one. After finding the best image, click on the tick button. Ok, now you can create videos with this image in a single click. Just click on this video icon and the video will be generated from this image. But honestly speaking the result is not up to mark. So, we have to regenerate. First, I will change the motion value from here and then regenerate the video. This time it generates better video. Regenerate videos again and again until you find the best one. Ok, let's go back to image mode. Now I will show you another interesting editing tool, Generative Fill with this tool, you can select any part of the canvas and draw something new. After selecting the tool, draw the area with the brush tool. After completing the drawing come to the left side and then enter the object description, after that, hit the generate button. And here it is, the new images have been created. If you don't like the result, you can customize the prompt and regenerate images again. Ok, our second is ready. Now let's come back to the storyboard again. According to the story, we need a scene of a monster robot after the first scene. So, I will create a new scene. Just click on the plus button between the first and second scenes. And a new scene has been created. Now simply paste the script or story here and then click on here to generate the image. And here it is our image is ready. In my opinion, we got a perfect image. In this method, customize all the scenes and add new scenes if needed. I have finished my customization and my scenes are ready. Now if you want to convert all the scenes into video click on this toggle video mode switch. Now click on the generate video button from here. Once the videos have been generated successfully, you can see a preview from here. To download the video, click the export video button from here, and to download the images, come to the image mode. Now on the bottom of the left side, you will find the download all images option. All of your images will download as a zip file. If you are working as a team, you can share your storyboard. Just click on the invite to the workspace, or just share the storyboard link with other users. Now to make the final video, you can create a voiceover with 11 Labs, lip sync with Lalamo Studio, and then edit with a video studio. If you want a detailed video on the next part, let me know in the comments section. But, there is another good news. Catalyst AI is gonna bring some new incredible features very soon. Catalyst AI Video Studio turns your storyboards into fully produced videos with voiceover, music, and sound effects. So, you don't need to use any other platform to make a full-fledged video. I already applied for early access. Once I will get access, I will share the workflow with you. In conclusion, Catalyst is one of the best tools for visual storytelling. Not only video, you can create comics, children's books, and coloring books also with Catalyst. I will make a separate detailed video later. Alright friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear your opinion about Catalyst. Share your thoughts and results in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!